Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading for the month of April. If you are Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this is your reading. Okay, if you're on the cusp of a Sagittarius or a Aquarius, watch their videos in case it resonates with you. These are very general. Um, so if you would like your own private reading from me, all my links are down below in the description box. Okay, Sag or not Sagittarius, Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, I drew the card Weight, the Anchor, the Woman card, the nine of wands and the eight of coins in reverse. I usually don't do reversals, but if a card happens to come out that way, I'm gonna use it, okay? Let's see, wait, what does it say? The timing is not quite right, okay? Um, so this kind of tells me that some of you might wanna pursue a relationship, um, but it's not the right time, or you meet someone, it's not the right time. Maybe someone's still in a karmic relationship or in another relationship. Um, or perhaps you want to say something, do something, but it's telling you to put everything on pause here. Um, let's look at the anchor card. The anchor is about feeling stuck or feeling confined, especially when it's near negative cards, such as the nine of wands, a little bit of a little bit of a frustration type of card. Um, the anchor could also mean stability. Okay, the eight of coins is generally about uh, putting in the effort, commitment, uh, repeated things that are repeated. Um, a paying attention to detail but it's reversed so it's like the opposite of that uh the woman card so you could be dealing with a woman or if you are a woman this is what you're going through or how you feel or uh again roles could be reversed i'm just going to talk as if it's the woman going through this but it could be a man or you might be a man um okay just so i could keep up with it the anchor and the woman so someone's upset here again these are just weekly readings but i kind of see the anchor and the woman card as being f like the woman is being or how do I put this? This is this could literally be being very fixated on a woman, or someone feels stuck with a woman. So, for instance, if you're if you're uh, if you're a woman or you're a man and your spouse or partner is a woman, you might be feeling very stuck in this relationship or marriage with this woman, or stuck about something about her, um, or you're very fixated on her. If you're the woman, you're kind of fixated on or so focused on the problem at hand going on right now, or you feel stuck. Um, for some of you, this can be the energy of wanting a long-term relationship with a woman. Again, the anchor can be stability and something long-term. Usually the anchor tree and mountain is like, well, actually the house can also be like long-term and, and the ring card are all like long-term commitment. But usually the anchor is like goals are reached, destination is reached. Hmm. If you're the woman, you want stability or you want long-term. If you're not in that relationship yet, you might be in a relationship with someone and you still want that long-term. Maybe it doesn't feel like it's, or maybe it is long-term, but you feel there's no stability. And the reason I'm saying that is because the nine of wands and the eight of coins is reversed here. I'm hearing failure is not an option. Failure is not an option. Um, the, that's the words I'm getting when I look at the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. But at the same time, it feels like there's, it's like keep trying and trying again. It's not budging. Someone wants to work on this relationship, but there's, again, a lot of frustration involved because it seems that problems keep repeating themselves or that someone's upset because someone is not putting in the effort the way they want them to. For some, this is like, get, it's just getting tired by trying to make this work. You feel like you're getting nowhere with this person. Um, again, it's just for the week though. Things can change after, okay? Or some of you are trying to, you're trying to, I guess it's the same storyline. It's like getting fed up that you're doing so much work, but you're not seeing results. You feel like you're the only one uh, putting, a, you're, you're, you're the only one uh Oh, I can't talk today. It's not Mercury retrograde. I know it's the Scorpio moon. Maybe that's why. <laughs> you feel like you're 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 doing so much work, but you're not seeing results. Perhaps some of you are wanting this person to. Here, here's what I'm getting. You kind of want, or one of you wants the other person to push for this commitment, but you feel frustrated because you're. It's just and the results aren't aren't showing up here. 
you feel stuck because you want to try and and that's maybe what it is You're, you or some of you feel like this person is not trying this person isn't trying uh, be careful though because there's an energy of overlooking the details too much you're over worrying yourself uh, but some of you i feel like that's actually literal like you're doing so much i'm surprised the ten of wands isn't here but this is sort of like when I get the Eight of Coins reversed next to the Nine of Wands, I do see that as the energy of the Ten of Wands as like two and one. So these two cards here kind of show me the Ten of Wands energy. So what is the Ten of Wands? The Ten of Wands is like burden, stress, um, taking on too much, okay? But yeah, somebody, one of you wants this person to commit to you. That's another storyline, like I said, but you're feeling frustrated because you don't see enough effort on their part. You're pushing for them to commit or you're pushing for them to fix something. You want something fixed, but it's not being fixed. Now, if you're married or already in a relationship, there could be something around the house that needs fixing or it could be something small. Again, these are just weekly readings, so it could be something that's not that big of a deal. Like, oh, you told me you'd keep fixing this door, but you haven't fixed it yet. It's like it's like getting someone to fix something in the house, getting someone to, uh, and the woman is, is the one that's wanting it done although it could be the man maybe the man wants the woman to fix it but she's not and saying wait like she might be going hey wait we need more time before we fix this whether it's fixing something like a, fixing an actual object or fixing the relationship or something about the relationship in general um there's there's something that needs to be fixed and it's not getting fixed and someone is frustrated whether you're a man or a woman um Another issue is someone might be holding grudges for not promising to keep their word. I don't know why I'm seeing that here, but that's what I'm picking up as well. Someone goes back on the word or doesn't keep their word, like a broken promise or something. Um, that's what I'm hearing, at least, even though it's not really showing that in the cards. Um, I feel like this is an advice with the, well, definitely with the wait. Wait. I'm trying to think of, think of wait a minute. <laughs> Um, here's what I'm kind of feeling based on the whole entire spread. I feel like the advice here is basically what the card is saying, wait, and here, here's why. Um, l like I said over and over again, some of you are trying to do too much work this week, whether it's getting this person to fix something for you or getting this person to try hard in this relationship or getting this person to prove to you something or give you more stability or put in the effort on their part because you feel like it's one-sided but I feel like the advice is is let this person do all the work although I I kind of contradicted myself because that's what you're trying to do you're trying to get them to work you're trying to get them to put the effort in but I feel like don't don't do that anymore don't try so hard okay just take care of yourself I know that's easier said than done but I feel like that's what it's saying um let this person do the work because you're you're tired of being a doormat. I mean, this whole spread is clearly saying, stop making such an effort. Stop, wait, okay? Whether it's trying to get that person to pursue you or the other things that I said, getting them to fix something in the home or getting them to uh, finish something they started or whatever it was, don't, don't do any of the work, okay? Stop it, okay, at least for this week, okay? Um, perhaps for others of you, um, this could be about that, that someone's work or their business is getting in the way of your relationship. Hmm. Sometimes the anchor can be about work and so can the eight of pentacles. That's why the eight of coins. So, um, whatever's going on, whatever the case is. I feel like you should spend more time working on yourself rather than trying to work on this person until they learn to put in more effort. And here's another thing I'm picking up. Uh, sometimes when we come into relationships, I'm not a medical expert, but I trust me, I've read plenty of their books when I was a lot younger. Um, sometimes we see people that, I'm not saying you're doing this, but sometimes people will get into a relationship knowing that person has a lot of baggage or knowing that person has a lot of drama or knowing that person really isn't the best for us. And what uh, women are guilty for doing this because we are generally, um, I'm not trying to say women are better, just saying that women, it's in our nature to caretake, it's in our nature to nurture. And so sometimes we, when we get into relationships, sometimes we see that person as a project, like, oh, I get to work on him. Ooh, I'm going to change him. 
You, you know that joke? It's a joke where I'm not saying everyone thinks like this, but I've heard this before and it's pretty damn common. It's, it's like a joke quote, like um, <laughs> when men get with a woman, they hope that she will not change. When women get into relationship with a man, she's hoping he will. Yep, yep, yep. Did I ring some bells there? Not saying you're doing this, but for this might only resonate with a few of you, but some of you are literally making this person your project because you want them to change. And you know, sometimes people do change. You can manifest this person to change. Um, but if you keep worrying about what they're not doing or, or what you're frustrated about, then that's gonna ruin the manifestation. But again, it's easier said than done. Overall, I'm not saying all of you are trying to literally change them, but maybe they were for a different way with you for a long time. And now they're starting to change and you're trying to reverse them back by changing them how they used to be. But either way, I feel like it's saying wait this week. Don't try to push them. And it's not, it's not to say don't care or let them do what they want. It's not that, but sometimes you really can't change someone especially the timing. So I feel like just for this week, Capricorn, try not to have high expectations. You know that other quote, if you stop having so much expectations over someone, you will never get disappointed. <laughs> but again, that's easier said than done. We, you know, we're human, we have feelings. It's not like we're emotionless robots, right? We can't just not care what people do. But just for saving that, um, keeping you sane, mentally sane this week, just try not to expect too much of this person. Again, take care of yourself, work on yourself. And, um, you know, as frustrating as it looks here, um, in time, I feel like, you know, we'll see what next week says. But overall, that's what I have for you for this week. So I hope that helped you. Sorry if it didn't. Um, if you feel it didn't res resonate with your story, check your other placements. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.